The best father-son story <clears throat> that I remember is a is a true story. And this, I was listening to uh, listening to uh, a, a baseball game, 1988. It was the uh, it was a uh, playoff game of a pennant game between the uh, New York Mets and the Los Angeles Dodgers. <clears throat> and it was in the, toward the late innings of of the of the game, and. Um, uh, and I, so this happened one night, and then a couple, and I wasn't listening that night. Or if I was, they didn't tell the story then. But they told this story a, a night, or, night or two later. And this is a wonderful father-son story. I like it especially well, anyway. <clears throat> so there was a, a pitcher there, kind of a rookie pitcher, uh, though experienced enough to play in the, in the pennant race. He was a, a pitcher for the Dodgers. Young man, and... Uh, he was a pitcher, and he he got up to to uh, in the bullpen to do some practice pitching before the before he was called up. And eventually, he was called up. He was nervous as hell. Can I say hell? No. <laughs> he was he was nervous as hell, and he just his pitches were wild. He just went everywhere except where he wanted to put them in the pitchers in the catcher's mitt. And as he was fretting, a song came into his head, and it and this is what he heard in his head. You take the high road, and I'll take the low road, and I'll be in Scotland before ye. And when, he, when that came to his mind, he settled down, his pitches came right where he wanted it to. And shortly he was called to come into the, and pitch, as a relief pitcher in the closing innings. And he walked across that green grass, and he he came up to the mound, took some practice pitchings. He was getting he was getting bad again. The pitches were going wild, and again it came to his mind: "You take the high road, and I'll take the low road." And he settled down, and he pitched out of that inning, and he pitched the next inning, and the inning after that maybe, and they won, and he won the game and he says that's so wonderful and it was what was sad about it to him was that his father hadn't lived long enough to see him pitching in a pennant race in the big leagues his father would have just cried real tears if he'd seen that but then his father died when he was just a boy so he went into the locker room with everybody, and they were all congratulating him on winning the game. And, and the phone rang, the locker room phone, and uh, somebody answered it, and they called out, Hey, Brian, it's long distance for you. So Brian went over to the phone. Hello? It was his mother. And uh, his mother said, Oh, Brian, honey, she said, what a, how wonderful to see my own boy up there pitching and on national television. Weren't you nervous? He says, Ma, I can't tell you how nervous I was. But when I was warming up, he said, there was something that settled me down. He says, this song came into my head. It was a song from out of nowhere. I don't know, I don't know where it came from. She said, what was the song? He said, it, here, I'll sing it for you. It, it, it went, you take the high road, and I'll take the low road, and I'll be in Scotland before ye. It was quiet. And then his mother said, Brian, you've heard that song before. No, Ma, I swear, I, I don't know where it came from. She said, honey, when you were just a baby, and your father would take you out in the baby buggy for a walk, and when you would begin to fret in the baby buggy, your father would sing you the only song he knew, the words to in all this world. Brian, she said, tonight your father was singing you a lullaby.